Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So yeah, we're gonna be doing another cloud pour today. There's the colors I used. Um, obviously they'll be in the description box below and uh, let's go for it. This is um, a Prussian blue. I think it was Liquitex. Um, I've mixed so many paints the past few days because I've been in uh, experiment mode. So this is Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex. This is an, a cloud mix I'm working on, and I'll let you guys know. I just want to do a few more tests to make sure it really does what it's doing and how to kind of harness it. <laughs> um, that was a Pibio, Pibio Iridescent Gold, and that's a turquoise custom mix. I think it was Artist Loft Turquoise, and then um, Liquitex. So there's the white again, and then uh, here is the Prussian blue. Might as well use the rest of it. I love Prussian blue. I mean, you could literally give me nearly any brand and I'd be like, it's gorgeous. I freaking love Prussian blue. Um, so there's the quinacridone again. I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and there's the turquoise mix, the custom mix. Oh, okay, ended with that. And again, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. And um, I think I did about six ounces of paint. And my consistencies are very thick. There's a three second trace. And this is just a straight pour with the twist. And then at the end, I did a little ring pour for that center. Right away, I loved this coming out of the cup. I know that um, Prussian blue looks black, but it, it's not. It's definitely a deep, deep, deep blue. Um, also, the mix that I am using for my cloud mix right now, for this specific video, it is extremely reactive. And this is the first time doing a little bit larger painting. Before I've been doing, uh, I've tested it out on some tiles, you know, just some smaller tiles. But um, I'm seeing it react already. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can see it right there. Um, Definitely putting flow extender around it because I I wanted to stretch that white as much as I could and see what would happen. But I'm kind of realizing at this point that I probably put too much white in my cup. And also, you know, I'm like, hmm, composition wise, what do I like? What, wanna, what do I want to take off? And I liked so many areas of this right here. But I knew I was going to have to lose some stuff. Um, and I leave a lot of paint on my canvas in general. Um, I mean, I painted this on Sunday night. It is now Monday morning. And this thing isn't even close to being dry. Um, so I'm just praying that it continues to dry well. Like my other pieces, you know, that have the thick paint, thicker paint. So yeah, spin it out a little bit. You can see those clouds. Um, are definitely doing things. They are getting puffy. You know, my last cl cloud pour I did, I call them marshmallow clouds because they're not really translucent. They're very heavy clouds and strong lines and they look to me like marshmallows. I'm just gonna call that the marshmallow cloud style pour. The video before this. Um, this one, the clouds go translucent. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, I was like, all right, this white's gonna take over. I'm gonna tilt off these corners. I'm gonna stretch out this white and this white is gonna just be like, scoot over, I am taking center stage. I was like, all right, well, this is kind of a test, so let's just see what happens. 
So um, I'm going to continue to tilt. I'm going to shut up and I'll be back in just a minute, you guys. All right. Hang tight. Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for hanging in with me during the stretching. Um, yeah, I had kind of a hard time deciding what to keep and what to, you know, tilt off the canvas. But, um, you know, as you can see, those clouds, um, yeah, started picking up every color that I laid down and you'll see it more in the flyover video which is coming up here in just a minute um, and I loved you know in some areas the Prussian blue mixed with that quinacridone and made a really pretty moody purple you only see little bits of it but you actually do see it in the flyover um, when the translucency is really accentuated so yeah right now I'm just kind of putting this giant fluffy vortex in the center. And I do love that it didn't totally swallow the dark part right there, that curve of the um, Prussian blue in the center. I'm so glad that that ended up staying. Even through drying, it's still there, so I'm glad. Um, it definitely needed some contrast, so yeah. And at first I was like, do I like this? Is it too busy? The more I look at it, the more I like it. Anyway, here comes a flyover. What? Look at the colors. That's, look at those stripy candy, cotton candy cells. I, I don't know. And there is, go that yellow is actually the Pebeo iridescent gold. And um, there's tiny little lines of it and it highlights the other colors. And look, I've got purple in there and the magenta. I'm not a big magenta fan or, well, I'm not a big pink fan in general. I just don't reach for it very often, but I'm glad I did here. But oh, I should have hung out a little bit more in that flyover, but there you go. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this, these clouds, these translucency. And um, please hit like and, sub like and subscribe if you love this. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.